said this morning. Lord, I'm ten and nine. Yes, sir. And I will confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. And believe in your heart that God has raised from the dead. The Bible says that thou shalt be saved. The invitation is extended to you. Yes, and you know whether you're right or wrong. Yes. And I want to tell you right now, pride is going to kill a whole lot of folks in hell. Oh, yeah. Because you're sitting there and you know you're not right, but you refuse to get up. Yeah. That means you're denying the Lord and you're listening to the devil. I want to let you know the devil got a place for you too. But it's not like the, like the Lord. The Lord is a place of comfort and rest. But the devil has a place of torment, torture. The Bible says it's a lake of fire, brimstone. Do anybody want to go to hell? Nobody wants to go to hell while you're living like that. Now is your opportunity to get it right. All you got to do is stand up and say, Lord, Forgive me of my sins. Yes, Here I am, take me back and try me one more time. Is there one today? Say, I don't know the Lord in the pardon of my sin. There might be one today, say, I'm a backslider. Folks, come on a minute. I'm a backslider. Now it's time for you to backslide back into church. Why do you have break in your body? Tomorrow might be too late. But one thing above, you got this moment right now. Is there one? They want to come. Don't worry what your friends are. They're going to talk about you when you come to God. But I would rather want to talk to you when you're coming to God. Stay up there and die. Lord. All right. All right. Now, one that wants prayer, if you're here, we extend the invitation. Yes. Yes. If you want to rededicate yourself, yes. now is the opportunity. Is there one? All is well.
tell you, if you miss it, you didn't hear that, no one fought for that home. Yeah. It was just a clear and plain. Yeah. Do y'all really believe God would waste not only the time he's given us, but his time? Amen. Amen. Now the truth of the matter is a lot of us, all of us, that we be truthful, but it is still working on some things. Yes. Some of us just been working on a lot more things than others have. Yes. And God sent Pastor Brooks to extend mercy yes. to somebody that still hadn't come in alignment with what he said we should be doing. Amen. God spoke to him in a loving manner. A loving manner. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So we bless God for the message as well as the messenger. Let's give the Lord a hand and stop the prayer. For all of you. Pastor Brooks. Sometimes that, those words like that are not easy to receive. And I'm sure he was wrestling with that. But when the Lord tell you to do something, you better do it. Amen. Because guess what? See, see, we don't really read the Bible. If God charged Pastor Brooks to do something and he didn't do it, and because all of us showed up, guess what happened? If he didn't tell you what the Lord told him to tell us, all of our blood would be on. But because he done what the Lord told him to do, the blood is off of his hand and back is going on. Amen? Amen. I have enough of my own. That's why I don't have a problem telling folks in love. But thus is the Lord. Amen? Amen. Listen, people are leaving away from here quick and in a hurry. And you know you still doing some things you don't have no business doing. And you heard Sunday after Sunday, Wednesday after Wednesday, Tuesday after Tuesday, Monday after Monday, and you still not picking no adjustments? You telling the Lord, hey God, I ain't hearing nothing you have to say. Pastor Brooks just told me about the Spirit of God. Pride going to send a whole lot of people. Not God. Amen. God is trying to gather his end time harvest of his kingdom. Amen. And he sounded the trumpet before Jesus sounded. Amen. 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 If you still upset with people and you speaking to them, guess what? You better get that right. If you won't forgive nobody that done you wrong 15 years ago, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, you better get that right. Now, I ain't saying you got to go and take the devil. But you have to forgive. 